Okay. So this is video number four. In this video of lab one, we're going to see how we can edit a table to be organized the way we want it to be. Um, uh, because we have this one table here for the Utah uh, data for year 21, 22. And the way it downloads, if you ask for uh, these two data sets together, um, it puts them kind of stacked on top of each other. And instead of having date here, what I'd like to have is uh, year 2021 and then year 2022 and then different preset values like with them. So anyways, this is not how we want it, but I, I we could bring this into a text editor and probably make that happen for ourselves. But I actually think we can manipulate it maybe better right here in GIS. And so what it asks, ask us to first do is repeat what we did for um, video number two, where we bring in the XY data. So let's do that first. Display XY data, latitude and longitude, and yeah, that looks good. OK, so there it is, and that's the only one that's turned on. I'll give those symbol colors different than the other one. So OK, so we know. OK, so uh, let's zoom in on those data points. OK, great. So what we should probably see actually if we zoom into one of them there should be two dots there actually i don't know if we ever see that because they're at the same exact point um but how could we figure that so we could select right we should have two of those selected so let's open attribute table and it says we have two of 585 selected Yeah, one is for year 2021 and year 2022. The dots are exactly overlapping because they're the same latitude and longitude. Uh, so we can't zoom into them infinitely. But but yeah, that's the issue. We need those to basically be one dot uh, with multiple years of data on them. So we want to change that. So I'm going to first clear selection. And then go back to everything. We'll zoom to the layer. And so I, I, I don't need this georeference thing in the background anymore, but basically what we want to do is this. So we can, since these are, um, you know, shapes, and you can see that 2021 only appears, you know, in the state column here. So we can separate out all the 2021s from the 2022s and make them their own files, basically. So since it's now, a, sh a shape file. No, I want to say that it's a feature class, right? So it's now a GIS file. It's not just a data table like it was before. And so we can use things like select by attributes to filter through the data. And so that's how we're going to get this to look the way we want. So, um, yeah, so go to, what am I thinking here? So, um, yeah, so right here under map, we this is one way to get into it. You can get it to it here too. Select by attributes. So from that, we want to make a new selection. And we want to um, say where date is equal to 2021 apply. OK, so now I've got all 2021s selected. 294 of 585 of them. Is that exactly half? I'm not sure about that, but it might not be. And I can see that it probably isn't because I can see some some of them also don't have there's like a red and and no selection there. So there may be some new stations that were added and things like that. And actually, we can see in 2022, maybe there's no data for some years. So they're not exactly one to one. It won't be exactly half of the data. That's fine. OK, so we've got that selection made. Now there's a sh so if you right click on a file. Uh, and go data export features, it'll only export the features that are selected. 
And so we can export these features and call it um, Utah rain data from 2021. And then we can do this and we can do the other selection of 2022. We call it 2022. And then we've done what we wanted. OK, so I'm going to export the features. And make sure. Uh, yeah, it's going to the right place. Lab one geodatabase. We call it. Uh, yeah, Utah. I'm just going to call it Utah rain 2021. And I say OK. OK. So, of course, it gave it the same color. Let's give it a new color. Uh, open circles. So you can see through it. OK. And then um, we'll go back to the other one and we'll clear the selection. And now we can see some open circles on top of there. And then let's make a new select by attributes. And we're still going to do it off that 2122 data. And we're going to make a new selection. And again, go back to date. But this time we want it to be 2022. Sorry, you should be able to select that because it's one. There's only two options. OK, now close that and then right click. Data export features and we call that Utah. Utah. Rain 2022. Okay. And so. Great. I guess I can I should be able to go back here, clear my selection. I'm going to turn that one off and I'm going to put the. How do I want to look at these? Mm. Let me get some different symbols. OK, so first, actually, I'm going to remove the, the one I was just operating on. And I'm going to change this red symbol from 2021 to let's try an open triangle. And so we can see that a lot of those triangles and spheres are overlapping, but not all of them. Uh, some of the data is not in both years. OK, so it worked. Um, if we were to look at, let's look at the attribute tables of these things, open attribute table. Um, we can see uh, that the date uh, is still there as 2021. It's kind of, you know, redundant to have it now, but it's like the whole data table. Yeah, it is 2021. Precip is for each station is 2021. Um, yeah, so that worked. 2022 open attribute table. You can see that you do have some nulls. You can remove those from your file before you do your interpolation. If you get some issue with your interpolation, so not every station has data for both years. So keep that in mind. But yeah, that is how you would edit those um, data tables. Uh, that'll get them ready to doing the interpolation. Okay, so that's video number four.